This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freaking.com One of the neat things I've noticed over the last couple, three weeks in New Hampshire Liberty activism is that I, I find something that's been going on. I, I see it on Facebook or on uh, a web forum or something like that, and I go to, to call talk radio about it, and I discover that talk radio already knows about it. So one thing I was going to call in about uh, was uh, Rick Naya's incident. I don't know if I'm saying his name correctly. Uh, Naya is a cannabis freedom activist who was at the polls during the primary on Tuesday, September 2018. And he kind of pulled a Ridley. He started walking up to candidates with a video camera and questioning them. One of the candidates basically lost their minds. Apparently the initial mind losing process was not caught on film or I didn't I didn't see it in the video that I saw. The video sort of picks up afterwards, but uh, Naya claims that the candidate basically just dropped all of the signs that he was holding and left them lying around, which you're supposedly not supposed to do. But was not interfered with, was allowed to do this, and the signs just apparently continued sitting there for quite a while on the ground. Where I've seen other, I've seen other instances where liberty-leaning people have been interfered with because they're not holding the signs properly or something much more anal. Anyway, this state rep candidate, whose full name I don't have, so I won't say any of it. The important thing is here. First of all, I'll try to link to the video in my video description as long as I can find, you know, an upload of it. I just saw it on Facebook. Also, what's significant is I watched the whole video, everything on, on this clip, and the, the state rep candidate is so pissed about being questioned that he, he walks into the polling place, again, leaving his signs all over the ground, which he's, you know, supposed, supposedly that's something that a moderator will come out and scold you for. But instead, the moderator comes out and in a... He tells all the people in front of the camera, like 10 or 12 people, hold, no, maybe eight, eight, roughly eight people holding signs. He tells them all not to talk to the guy with the camera, Rick Naya. Essentially, not to engage in political discussion. As best I can tell, he says nothing about the, the signs that are in violation, and then he just walks back in. Well, he could have done worse. You know, He could have done more interfering than he did. But apparently, someone called the police because they appeared and started questioning Naya later. I don't know if this was caught on video. It was mentioned in the mainstream press, which again, this is great that the mainstream press picked up on this. And the video, when I saw it two days after the election, you know, two days after it was shot, I think it was already at at least 3,000 hits on Facebook. So what uh, what the moderator actually said, I have a quote here. He said, gentlemen, uh, quote, gentlemen, ladies, do not aggravate anybody and do not respond to any questions, unquote. Okay, so I, I guess I was probably exaggerating when I said that he was telling them not to talk to the guy with the camera. He was telling them not to answer questions, which is a little bit more specific. He was not like he was saying you can't talk, period. Now, the state rep candidate himself... Kind of, he's kind of an old guy. Uh, for no particular reason, he brings up the topic of his desire to kill certain people. <laughs> while, uh, while talking to Rick Naya about cannabis, he starts talking about how he wants to kill terrorists. And then he says, or maybe before, he says, quote, You're opening your mouth up too much, unquote. That's what he says to, to Rick Naya. Which is actually... Technically true. If you watch the video, Rick does so much talking that you can barely hear anything the bad guys are saying. And all that really counts in these videos is what the bad guys say. You want to get them on camera incriminating themselves in some way. And Rick just drowns that out with his harangue. <laughs> but, but, you know, harangue. Uh, it's like that King, like that King Crimson song. Um, all the synonyms for talk are basically just talk. Harangue, debate, discussion, dissension... It's only talk. Talk is supposed to be protected. My body! My property! You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit 
freekeen.com.